The first card you have here passed is the Eight of Swords. So yes, I'm seeing you being surrounded. I'm seeing you feeling trapped at this time, obviously, with this card. I'm actually seeing guilt. I'm seeing that you might have been trapped by some guilt or some regret or something like that. Um, a lot of this guilt was coming from you, inside you, but also around you at the same time. I hope this makes sense. I'm seeing guilt coming from inside you, stopping you from moving forward. But also there was some something being said around you or people around you or something like that. Um, and yes, I'm seeing some people could have been reminding you of whatever this guilt was or whatever this thing was. I'm seeing some people trying to actually, one specific person and maybe some other people might have been trying to open up old things or trying to make you feel, not trying to make you feel bad, but talk about all these things that you just didn't really want to, but you knew you had to kind of sort it out for yourself. Um, I'm getting this feeling that you actually felt that, yes, you regretted something and you felt that you owed someone something or something like that. You felt you had to make something up to someone. That's what I keep on feeling as well. And this was stopping you. You were kind of carrying around some guilt. Uh, a lot of this was in your mind. You haven't actually... Um, or you hadn't at this time, you might have now, but at this time you, you hadn't made peace with yourself about something. And, you know, if this resonates and this is something um, that you're still going through, you're going to have to do this by yourself. Um, other people might have opinions, and I'm seeing that they had a lot of opinions. Um, these weren't opinions that were useful to you, because I'm seeing that, you know, only you, well, you know this, only you know your situation truly. You live your life, you know your situation you're the one that can help you. And so I think these people's opinions and these people around you, they're actually making things worse for you. They're actually stopping you from moving forward and getting through this. Because look at the swords around this woman. They're around her. I'm seeing these people around you talking to you, stopping you. That's what I'm seeing. So yes, this is this could have been stopping you from progressing in other areas of well, as well, other areas of your life. So you really need to get rid of whatever this guilty thing was, whatever this guilt was, whatever you're feeling, to help you to move forward. So yes, a lot of people are around you, I'm seeing that again, um, giving you their opinions. You really needed to try and shake these people off because again, you knew your life, you knew your situation, no one else did. Only you could do this for yourself. So the next card you have, you passed, is the Page of Wands. Yeah, so I'm seeing someone around you at this time. Um, they might not have been exactly right around you, but they, you know, someone you knew at this time. This person, you've known this person for a long time. I'm seeing that they're actually the opposite of you. They're opposite, actually feeling the opposite of, um, sorry, they're the opposite of you. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. They're actually the opposite. They were feeling the opposite of how you were at that time. And they are the opposite of you anyway, I'm seeing that. Um, I'm seeing this person jumps into things, and this person can be a little bit childlike, not childish, but childlike. So I'm actually seeing they had an opportunity for you, or they could have been involved in something that had some sort of opportunity for you around this. And because you did feel, you, you did feel um, stuck and you felt trapped in these swords, in this regret that you have, you might not have actually even seen what this was that they had for you. I hope you did because it was a really good opportunity. But, you know, this person's kind of the opposite of you. I'm seeing that again because they're kind of a creative person. They're like an artistic person. I'm not saying you're not like that. But what I mean is they have all these amazing ideas and they go off and do these things and they need you. They need an analytical mind, someone who's very, um, weighs things up and thinks very carefully, someone who's very objective in their mind. And that's what they wanted from you, someone to balance out their raw enthusiasm. That's what I'm trying to say. So yes, this could have been a work project, but I'm not sure if you actually said yes to this or if you even noticed this opportunity because again, your emotions were really holding you back. Your guilt was holding you back and these people were holding you back, trying to keep you back there, trying to keep you talking about this. The last card you have for your past is the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm seeing this card kind of partially, literally anyway, literally kind of, um, 
yes, there could have been a lot of um, family things going on in your life at this time. I am seeing you helping some family members, helping them out, doing practical things for people. I am seeing travel as well around this, so you could have been driving someone somewhere, helping them out in that way. And I'm seeing people, I'm seeing family members maybe trying to influence you or talk to you about this problem. I'm seeing this again. So along with, I mean, you were happy to help these people, but with that help came people in your ear trying to tell you what to do again, trying to give you their so-called kind of advice. And that's what came with it. So again, you really didn't need all these people telling you what you should be doing or, or even knowing anything about it. This is your business. This is your business. This is something that's your feelings. This is something that's you. This is for you to sort out. So yes, again, if, if you're still going through this, try to at least not tell these people about this. At least try and say something like, I don't want to talk about this subject. I'm sorting it out by myself. Something like that. Just to stop them from, because they think that they're entitled to keep on giving their opinions, keep on talking to you, keeping on, um, they think you owe them an explanation and you have to tell them all that's going. You don't have to tell them what you have, what's going on in your life. You really, really don't. So I'll stop that round. The first card you have, your present, is the hanged man. So yes, whatever this regret is, I'm still seeing this regret inside you, but whatever this is, this is still holding you back. Look at this hanged man. He's hanging back. He's not doing anything. This is stopping you from fulfilling your potential. You have a lot of things you can do. You have this opportunity with this person in the page of wands, but you're not doing it. You're not doing it because you're still stuck in this regret. You're stuck in your emotions and you're stuck listening to these silly people. They're, they're probably not silly people, but it's silly to be listening to their um, opinions when you should be just listening to your own opinions. So the other thing I'm seeing with this card is there could be someone around you trying to force something out of you. They're trying to... I'm actually seeing someone trying to get you to say something or get you to do something, getting you to... They want you to say something to them. That's what I keep on seeing in this card. This is about a love situation I'm seeing. I'm seeing you weighing everything up before you actually make a decision to come and say whatever they want or whether you're not going to say what they want um, or do or whatever this thing is they want you to do. This is exactly like you, your Libra, you weigh everything up. This person probably has a long history with you. I'm seeing this might be someone, they might be from your past, but they are obviously around you at this time, or they have a long history with you or something like that. You go back a long way with this person I'm seeing. But I'm seeing that you're not ready to make a decision about whatever this is, whatever this person wants you to do. And yes, you're right, take your time, take all the time you need. You have enough people telling you what to do as well. The next card you have for your present is the Page of Pentacles. So yes, it could be that, um, yes, maybe you're not agreeing to what this person wants or what, or you're not ready to make a decision about this because you don't think, yes, this is a love situation, I'm seeing that. You don't think this love situation is stable enough or you might not think there's trust there or there's something that's stopping you from thinking that this situation is stable. You don't think this situation is stable enough. I'm just looking at this... Um, looking at this page and he's looking up to this coin and this coin or this pentacle represents stability. So this is what you truly want. You're looking up to it. When you look up to something, you're looking up, you're admiring, you're thinking that's what I want. So this is what you want. You want stability. But if you look at this page, he's holding this coin on the tips of his fingers. So this isn't stability. He's not holding it in a stable way. He's not holding it in the palms of his hands. He's not clutching it or anything like that. If he moved, he'd probably drop it in one second. So he's not holding this in a stable way. So you don't think this is a stable situation. And you know, you want to make sure that you have a stable situation before you can commit or agree to whatever this person's asking you and you just don't feel that way. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have, excuse me, <clears throat> sorry about that. The last card you have your present is the lovers. So the lovers card can be about decisions and um, obviously it can be about lovers, but 
It can be about making a decision. This is the Garden of Eden, so this is when Eve had to make a decision whether to have the apple, whether to do what the snake said, all of these things. So yes, decisions. You're not ready to make this decision. I'm seeing a lot of people all the way through this reading trying to persuade you or trying to get you to do what they want to do. You need to think about what you want to do. You need to make your decisions. You also need to try and remove this um, feeling of guilt, which is stopping you from finding what you want to do. And yes, if this resonates, take some time out from listening to these people again. And, you know, meditate if this is something you do. Try to do whatever you can whatever feels right, to get this clutter out of your head, get these people out of your head telling you what to do so that you can make your decision. Know your own mind, follow your own mind, get some peace in your head to allow you to do that. That's what I'm seeing. Make your decision. The first card you have for your future is the Five of Wands. So yes, look at all this clutter, look at all these people. Yap, 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 yap. Do this, do that, don't do that. You know, forget it. Go away. That's what I say when I see worse than go away. If you do stop listening to all of these people and you start listening to yourself, a lot of people aren't going to like it, obviously. They obviously like being in this position where they think they can tell you what to do. They like it. So, yes, look at this. There's a kind of low level bickering, chattering. If you put a stop to this, and I'm seeing that's what you should do, if you put a stop to this, and you say something like, I'm not talking about the subject again. And they might, they'll bring it up again and you might say, I'm not talking about the subject. Just keep on repeating yourself again and again. I'm not talking about this subject again. Oh, but why? But I think you need to do, I'm not talking about this subject. Just keep on repeating and repeating and repeating. Because this card's about repetition as well. Repetition. Repeat this to these people. Force it to sink in with them. And... This Yes, this is what's best for them. They don't realise this is what's best for them. Specifically a couple of people, especially one person, they need to focus on themselves. They need to stop focusing on you, focusing on what you're doing, chatting about you. They need to focus on their own lives. This is going to be good for them as well. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have, your future is the two of cups. So this is a really, this is a really nice card i'm feeling very this is a huge contrast to the one to the to the five of wands i'm just suddenly feeling a lot of peace around this card whereas i was feeling the opposite with the five of wands this is the first time i felt peaceful in this reading um you could be meeting someone at this time you could be just talking to someone this person's going to be a breath of fresh air for you i'm seeing you're just talking to them that's all at this time you're having a light, fun conversation, just enjoying this. You're just enjoying your time with this person. Um, there won't be any pushing with this conversation, with this person, with this conversation. There won't be any game playing. There won't be any people telling you what to do, any of this kind of thing. It's just going to be enjoyable. And that's what this is showing you. That's what this is showing you. This is showing you that that's what relationships should be like. That's what all relationships should be like. Yes, you do have to talk about some hard things sometimes, but they shouldn't be pushing, they shouldn't be forcing. It should just be enjoyable. This is what it's showing you. That's why I'm feeling this contrast between these two cards, because that's what you need to be feeling. You need to realize this is what a relationship should be like. You should just enjoy being with this person. You shouldn't feel pushed all the time. You shouldn't feel forced into things. That's what I'm seeing. Now, with this person you're speaking to, this could be a romantic, this could have romantic potential for you, for your future. But I am seeing that at this time, you're not going to be ready for anyone. You're still caught up in this old situation and these other people and this stress and this guilt and all of this stuff. You're going to have to get rid of all of that before you can pursue anything like a new relationship or this um, opportunity in the Page of Wands, anything like this, you need to get rid of this guilt you're carrying around. You need to do it yourself. You need to do it by yourself again. The last card you have for your future is the Five of Swords. So 
yes, this card can be negative quite often. It could be about um, people being greedy or it can be about people being entitled or even cruelty, things like that, people being cruel to other people. Um, battles that aren't fair, it can be about things like that. I'm seeing this is a positive thing for you, this card. I'm seeing this is you starting to take back these swords. Look at this man. He has three swords in his hand. You might not be able to say, I'll move it up. So three swords already in his hand. These other people have lost their swords and he's getting theirs. So you had all of these swords around you in the Eight of Swords. All of these people were kind of stabbing at you, jabbing at you, trying to get a piece of you, trying to talk to you, trying to tell you what to do. This is you taking them away. This is you taking the swords away. You're saying, finally, I'm taking these swords away from these people. I'm going to have peace. I'm going to be by myself. I'm not going to let them dictate what I have to do. I'm not going to listen to any more of this rubbish. I'm going to be by myself and I'm going to follow my own path, make my own decisions. And I'm so happy that that's what you're going to do. I hope this is going to happen to you and I hope this is what you're going to do. But I'm seeing that you are. Um, this is going to be hard for these people again. I'm seeing that in the Five of Wands. They're not going to like it at all. They're not going to like this too bad. They're just going to have to put up with it. That's what I'm seeing. Because this is you. This is you. This sounds really cringy, I know, but this is you taking your power back. I don't always say, well, I don't like seeing cringy things. But yes, that's all I can say. Take the swords back from them. And that's what you're going to be doing. 